Welcome back, another episode. As we approach New Year's Eve, each of the Vortex couples experiences some relationship turmoil in Passin' Me By, the seventh episode of All American Season 6. But can love, and maybe even some sacrifices, be sufficient to keep any partnership afloat? One of the characters decides to depart Los Angeles for another scene. The night before the game, Spencer expects to work out alone in the gym. Little does he know that Mac and Jordan are in the middle of an unscheduled press conference. Jordan is asked by a reporter what it was like to be a Heisman Trophy finalist. Later, when Jordan sees Layla at the lounge, he asks if she followed up with her physician regarding changing her antidepressant prescription. She promises to contact her doctor eventually, but for now, she is more worried about the state of her accommodations. The cops don't know who destroyed the lounge's security footage because it was wiped. Jordan is still concerned about his future wife. When Spencer and Olivia enter the beach house's kitchen early on game day, they find Carissa preparing pancakes for them. Chef Carissa says she would be pleased to cook for them and then inquires as to if they would like her to have tickets to eat tacos made by a Michelin-starred chef. The couple decides to spend New Year's Eve together after the game, so Spencer and Olivia accept her invitation. Jordan visits Layla's lounge, where he has a heated discussion with Ryan. Spencer heads back to his mother's house to join her and his brother for breakfast as part of their game day custom. Regretfully, he's still stuffed from his earlier meal, and Grace laughs insensitively. When she receives a call informing her that Dylan has been admitted into the Boston Benwood School of Arts, the family's jokes come to an end. Dylan must relocate to the East Coast by the following Monday, which excites the family. Olivia is about to leave the house for the game when Ashley knocks on her front door and tells her he's going to be departing tomorrow. He dismisses her apology and invites her to hang out after Spencer's game. She apologizes for not being as available to hang with him. He suggests making a drawing of her. She doesn't believe that's a good idea and says that, although their friendship meant everything to her while they were in London, maybe they became a little too close. When the second quarter begins, the score is tied at zero, and Jordan finds that his game is off because Layla is nowhere to be found. Later, while the team celebrates in the locker room, Olivia approaches Spencer, who is seeing Mac becoming overconfident in Coach Boone's office. Spencer informs his girlfriend that Coach Boone has been assisting his sister in handling a nephew emergency. Kai interrupts Spencer and Olivia to inquire about the team's celebration of making it to the final game. Kai takes Spencer's announcement that he and Olivia are going to have tacos as an invitation to the team. Olivia simply says that Spencer is hosting a taco party at the beach house when Spencer tries to clarify. Nonetheless, the pair decides that the celebration won't last long and that they'll continue with their preparations afterwards. When he says she and their child are more important than risking his life to play football, Asher and Jamie, thankfully, figure things out. He looks away, though, as if his football dreams are still very much alive. When Jordan visits Layla, he confronts her about skipping the game. He asks her right away why she hasn't been more assertive in questioning her doctor about her medication after she apologizes. He starts arguing with Spencer and Olivia at the party after that. In another scene, Patience informs Coop that she wants to meet Miko in order to set the record straight. Patience doesn't agree with Coop's assessment of the plan and storms off. Upon Patience's departure, Coop remembers that Layla has a gun in the Baker house safe, but when Coop goes to check on it, it's gone. Preach and Patience dash to discover Patience with the gun seated outside Miko's house. Ashley returns to the taco party with a portrait he took of Olivia. She believes the gift is inappropriate and speculates that he sent the image to Spencer's in an attempt to stir up controversy. Ashley and Spencer feel upset when Spencer joins the conversation, but Olivia breaks the tension by urging Spencer to let her handle it. At a closed museum, Spencer and Olivia would spend the last moments of the year together, kissing as the clock struck 12. For more videos, subscribe.